we must remember that uh, the illimitable splendor of the divine tameva bhantu manubhati sarvam tasya bhasa sarvam idam divati that which shining causes everything else to shine we cannot imprison it in any one formula we got to keep our minds open our hearts open and we got to uh, try and realize the multiple grandeur of the divine so with these words mr vice president i now request you to kindly release the book thank you
the locus of conflict. Why is it that the human mind has uh, tended to practice exclusivity in regard to certain set of beliefs? It is not that the human mind practices uh, exclusivity in regard to whole range of other ideas, but only in relation to religion does the human mind practice exclusivity. And the judgment to make is that has that exclusivity furthered either understanding or human happiness. I think at this point of time in the history of our civilization, the answer is not possible. And yet, as the essays in the book show, and as the purpose of the book shows, it is, that is the ultimate goal to be reached. When we have evolved to the point when we can accept diversity of faiths, just as we accept all the other diversity in nature, and not be judgmental about it. One can be passionately attached to an idea, to a belief system. But being judgmental about it in regard to others is not conducive to social harmony. And I think in the world in which we live, in the society in which we live, I think we in India are better placed than any other society in the world to send this message. And the message is a simple one, the same old message of Hazrat Nizamuddin. Har Pabh Raaz Parahe Deen Hai Waktub Lagai. Thank you very much. <laughs>